Good morning, people. Watch Women 65. Lisa Boyce here. Um, before I get into this thing with the uh, mask thing with China, I will give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ died for our sins, spilt his blood, was buried, and rose again on the third day. The only requirement for salvation, and this is for new people, new people who are passing by the channel and just maybe the Lord is speaking to you, that um, the only requirement for salvation is to believe in what Christ did for you and your sins. There is no works. There is no coming to him by works. Um, the New Testament is different from the Old Testament. Although the only requirement throughout the entire Bible was blood. There had to be a shedding of blood in order to be to have a remission of sins. The blood was different back in the Old Testament. It wasn't the blood of Jesus. It was the blood of animals. That's what they depended on. Because Jesus hadn't come on the scene. We're in the dispensation of grace. In the New Covenant. The New Testament. Which means in order for a testament to happen, there has to be a testator. There have to be a death. And Christ died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day for our sins. Past, present, and future. So our only requirement now is to believe in what he did for us at the cross. Therefore now, like I said, it's not the same. Romans 10, 9 says that if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, then you're saved. The key word is to believe. John 3, 16 says that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Again, the key word is believe in the finished work of Jesus Christ and what he did at the cross. That's the only requirement. We don't come to him saying, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I, Lord, I repent. Lord, I do this. Lord, I do this. No. You come to him believing what he already did at the cross for our sins. That's the simple gospel. I give it every day, and I will continue to give it every day. Like I said, and like I, can, I, I keep saying, it's different in the Old Testament. It's different. Um, as simple as that. Now, I said yesterday, and uh, I thought my husband even told me this, about Macron being the Antichrist. My husband made a good point. He said, that's too obvious. He said, and I agree with this, Macron might be the one to introduce the Antichrist. Because I, I had to retract that. And it kept going back and forth in my spirit. It kept just dropping in my spirit. He's not it. He's going to introduce him. But he's not it. Now, I don't know why, but it, it did. And the Lord, I kept feeling that I have to correct that. There is something about the man, and I do believe that he is part of that Antichrist system. But as far as him being it, no. No. I think he's going to be the one to introduce the Antichrist. Because we're not going to be here. Simple as that. We're not going to be here. So I had to correct that. Thanks to the Holy Spirit and thanks to my husband. <laughs> so... But anyway, I had mentioned something about these masks arriving from China appearing in people's mailboxes. Well, there's an article on Gateway Pundit about this. And it says, mystery masks from China arrive at Florida addresses unsolicited. And it says, some residents in the Tampa Bay area have been receiving unsolicited masks from China at their home. I had mentioned it uh, 
this week, but I couldn't find the right article about it, so it came out. Uh, it came out today. It says one resident um, of Clearwater told local NBC News affiliate that she found two packages of masks, and when she opened her mailbox this week, she said she looked at the label and it had Shanghai, China from, from a certain district. She said, all of this information, including, listen to this, including her cell phone number was on there and her address. She said that she was afraid to even open it after she saw it. She didn't want to keep it in her house. She added, noting that she quickly threw the mask in the garbage. Residents in Virginia and Utah and other states have also still receiving seeds from China. It says Virginians uh, claim they have received packets of seeds with writing on the outside that appears to be in Chinese. The seeds have yet to be identified, but officials speculate that the seeds may be an invasive plant species and are advising residents not to use them. The Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer uh, Services issued a statement about the shipments, which read in part, the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services has been notified that several Virginia residents have received unsolicited packages containing seeds that appear to have originated from China. The type of seeds in the packages are unknown at this time and may be invasive plant species. The packages were sent by mail and may have Chinese writing on them. Please do not plant these seeds. The Virginia Department of Agriculture encourages anyone who has received unsolicited seeds in the mail that appear to have Chinese origin to contact the Office of Plant Industry Services. Invasive seeds wreak havoc on the environment displace or destroy native plants and insects and several and severely damages crops. Taking steps to prevent their introduction is the most effective method. Now I'm going to leave this in the description box because now is mask. First it was seeds, now is mask. What else is it going to be from China? Number one. Number two, how did they find out about your phone number, your cell phone number? She said that her cell phone number was on that packet of masks that she got in the mail. So they're tracking something, and it has to be through the cell phone. I don't know how. I don't know what's going on, but they're tracking something. I see in my mind everything going on. And I still feel that something big is about to happen. And I hope it's the rapture. That's why I give the gospel every day. Just believe in the finished work of Christ. I'll link this in the description box. If something else comes up, I'll be back to give it to you. Thank you.